How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Simple question here. You have double wall insulated mug. Which one performs the best? I have over here a regular mug that I use all the time. You might think about the thermal mask of it. Right now it's about 70 degrees room temperature Fahrenheit. You have a Tokes titanium cup which you might use for camping and I know for sure the hot drink that you put in this cools down very very quickly then you have a double wall glass cup this is from blue bottle you have a very expensive 40 50 dollar snow peak double wall insulated titanium cup with and without the lid and then a double wall insulated stainless steel 10 ounce yeti rambler i'm going to test this with and without the lid the test method is very important here we want to measure apples to apples therefore we have to pour the same amount of liquid in each cup. Now I have a warmed up measuring cup just to make sure it does not suck too much of the heat before I pour it in because I need to measure it first. I have a digital thermometer to monitor the temperature and also a timer over here. I'm gonna measure it once every minute or so. And also the surface temperature is likely gonna be cooler than inside the mug. I'm gonna use a non-conductive chopstick. This is wood, so I'm just gonna go in there and stir it a little bit before I take each measurement. Now let's start with my standard mug over here pour that hot liquid out. I'm gonna pour one cup, start the timer. It says 187, mix it up, one minute, 170. I'm removing the thermometer because this might suck some heat up the shaft. I do fully realize that as you have a hot drink, you're gonna be drinking it and then the liquid is gonna reduce. So usually towards the end of the drink, it cools down a lot quicker because the thermal mass is so much smaller. Here, we're just gonna leave it sitting there. It's a baseline. One. Okay. 165. Three minutes later, 161. I'd say if it reaches about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, then it's your body temperature, right? Then it's not gonna taste hot anymore. This is gonna be quite boring, so I'm just gonna do the experiment and then we're gonna come back and look at the data and talk about the data a little bit. Having done the first one, I realized that a temperature of 125 Fahrenheit or lower starts to taste a little bit warm. It doesn't taste like a hot drink anymore. And I also had a little bit of extra time between each measurement. So I'm gonna do two cups at a time to save a little bit of time. Now I am preheating this measurement cup so that it doesn't suck away some of the temperature. Let me wait until it gets sufficiently hot first. Okay, do one cup, one cup in the tokes, one cup in the blue bottle. Let me take a measurement, 194, 194.1. Whenever you have more surface area, more heat is going to evaporate. You can see right here, there's a bunch of steam coming off and this is going to reduce the heat quite fast. I'm just gonna do the first measurement to show you guys what I'm doing here. Wait until that's 60 seconds. Mix this around. 178.7, 183.7. And then I'm gonna keep on doing this. So my suspicion with this single wall titanium cup is correct. It cools really, really fast. In comparison to a regular mug, this has more thermal mass. So right when you pour in the hot water, it's gonna sink it down a few degrees. It didn't do it as much with the titanium cup, but this one did end up being a lower temperature at the end of 20 minutes. Now this blue bottle cup is the first double wall I am testing. Right now it's about 129 degrees or so. I'm gonna give it a drink. I'd say this is hot, but I prefer it a little bit hotter, I think. This is probably on the tail end of acceptable hot beverage temperature to me. With that said, if you look at the graph, it does end up being a lot hotter. If I take a taste of the Tokes cup, this is like, ugh, it's like lukewarm, right? So that's the whole thing with double wall. It keeps the temperature for a, a little bit warmer for a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna move on to testing this rather expensive Snow Peak and this $20 Yeti cup. Yetis are sort of expensive, but not as crazy as a Snow Peak one. First, I'm gonna test them without the lids because most of the time when you're actively drinking, you don't keep on putting the lid back on and drink it. Personally, I don't like it as much. Although if it's really cold, you might want to put it on and sip it through the little hole here. We're gonna do this again. Heat up the measurement cup sufficiently first. Wait a while. Okay. Do the Snow Peak first. 
eight ounce in the Snow Peak, eight ounce in the Yeti. So I'm gonna keep on measuring it and come back later. Last measurement over here at the end of 20 minutes. Wait for it to stabilize. 136.4. 146.1. This is the end of 20 minutes. I'm gonna give this a taste test. See how hot it is. Yeah, it's hot. I wouldn't say it's lukewarm, but this Yeti one, after 20 minutes, it's still at 146 degrees. Yeah, it's very hot. I'd say almost too hot. There's probably more time for you to enjoy a hot drink after this. So the Snow Peaks is ending after 20 minutes, 136 degrees. The Yeti is ending at 146 degrees, 10 degrees higher Fahrenheit than the Snow Peak one. When I'm touching the outside of this cup, I can feel it's noticeably warm. On the Yeti one, if I touch it, it just almost feels like room temperature indicating that it's insulating a lot better. The Yeti one is right on top. It's insulating the best. So it's losing heat at a very slow rate. The next one, you have the Snow Peak. It looks like the curve is a little bit steeper. For some reason, it's radiating heat more than the Yeti cup. And then as the data before, we have the blue bottle glass double wall over here, which marginally is doing worse than this one if I were to line them up. And then it's the standard mug. And then it's this single wall titanium so far. Now I'm gonna go back and redo these with the lid on like so. And then maybe I can take the temperature by sticking the thermometer inside the hole like so. And then maybe instead of swirling it with a chopstick, I can just kind of swirl it around within the cup. So now I'm gonna go and do the measurement for the next 20 minutes and we'll be right back. Okay. It's about three seconds to stabilize, 170.2. I've decided to close the lid every single time just to see how well it can perform at its peak. Now I poured boiling water in it and then I covered it up. You probably don't want to do this because it's going to be way too hot to drink. It's at 170.2 degrees for this one, too hot to drink. And this one is definitely too hot at 181. Yeah, it's like steaming my face. So I think the strategy here with any of these insulated cups is you want to make your tea or coffee, add in some cold creamer, reduce the temperature down a bit until it's at a manageable level, which you like, the hottest at which you like, and then you put the lid on. And then it's gonna keep it at that particular temperature. Close it every single time, open it up, take a sip, close it back up and it's gonna keep it at that temperature for an extended period of time. So there you have it. The order at which it insulates the best to the least insulating is the Yeti with the lid, the Snow Peak with the lid, and then after that is Yeti without the lid and then Snow Peak without the lid. The double wall blue bottle insulates the next best and then a standard cup is next best. And then after that, is this single wall titanium cup that happens to lose a lot of heat because the outer diameter, it's really large. There's a lot of surface area to lose heat. And also because it's metal, it just kind of radiates all over the place. So there you have it. I hope this information was useful in you selecting an insulated cup. I'm very happy actually, because this is the main cup I used for my milk tea recently that it beats out all the rest. I did learn something though, is that this lid is a lot more important than I thought. So going forward, I think I will make my milk tea, have it at the proper temperature that I like, not burning, scorching hot or anything. And then I'm gonna put the lid on. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.